next step is to decorate it. And we're going to decorate it by first putting our patterned pieces, and as you can see, this pretty card stock is two-sided, so you could use either. I'm going to use the green, and you can either use score tape or you can use something like a glue glider. So we're just going to add a little bit of glue glider onto this, because this will go a little bit faster since this isn't this part isn't a part that's really important to be sturdy. You can use a little bit of a lighter weight tape. And there, I decorated that side. I'm going to do the same thing. And do this side. And you can imagine how pretty a bunch of these all sitting together in a row full of cards and envelopes and other pretty things for the holidays would look. And my last one here. And although nobody may see the bottom, I like to decorate the bottom too because I think it would it's pretty so I'm gonna do that decorate my bottom piece okay and now you're gonna finish the top edge by using those four and a quarter piece by two by four inch pieces that you scored at two inches. And these are going to sit over the edge of the box like that. And you don't need a lot of tape for that. Just a little bit. And then pop it over and seal. You can see this is a relatively quick project. Doesn't take very long to do and makes such a pretty piece of home decor. There's two. one makes four. Now you've got your tissue box completely upholstered. However, I'm not crazy about this raw edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap some ribbon around it to finish off that raw edge as you can see how pretty that looks when you put ribbon around it and then I'm going to put something over the front to decorate it so for this part I am going to use a piece of score tape because I want that ribbon to really be secure and score tape is great for applying ribbon This is a long piece of ribbon. This piece of ribbon should be cut to about 18 inches. One little bit more for the end here. Okay. And as you can see, score tape sticks to just about anything. And so you want to lay it Find the center, and you want to lay it right over that edge, and then come around the other side into the center, and do the same thing on this side, come right around the raw edge, and into the center and overlap it a little bit 
And then to finish it off, what I've done is I've cut a fleur-de-lis pendant from my Nest Abilities, and I've taken the reindeer stamp from the Stamp TV Holiday Cheer Kit, and I've stamped him, and then I've embossed him in gold. And now I'm going to lay that right on top to make a decorative type of medallion. I'll use a little score tape for that. And that gold on gold is so pretty. This is the Pure Luxury Good as Gold cardstock. Like that. And then I'll add a little score tape to the back of the medallion. Don't you love that you can just tear that off like that? Let me pull this piece off first. I'm going to put a crisscross here. And then we will add that right over that raw edge. Like that. And now we have a beautiful box for holding cards. Here you can see my other one that I made. I used a nice matching pattern paper. It's not the same, but it complements. And I have both of my medallions on the front there. And you can see that when you get these A2 size cards that they fit perfectly inside the box. Now, although these boxes perfectly house hand-stamped cards, you can also fill them with markers, colored pencils, coupons, receipts, and anything else that's in need of a beautiful and sturdy storage container. <laughs>